when we talk to the families about how they can have a good reconstructive surgery without the child being asleep, most of them are very, very relieved. Today we're here for urology surgery. Then we came from West Virginia. This is her first surgery. She's never had anything done before. And many parents are, are very pleased to avoid a breathing tube, to avoid narcotics, to avoid medicines that are associated with anesthesia. And we can do that with spinal. Bye, baby. Bye. It'll make her be able to come back to us quicker. It's less medication for a small body. For me, that just makes me feel better. We use a local numbing medicine like you would get at the dentist, and we put a small dose of it in the spinal fluid, which allows us to make a child numb from about the belly button down. All right, you ready, my dear? It's just a one-time injection with a very, very small needle. Within the operating room, you'd think it would make things more difficult, but really it's a lot more fun. A lot of us will play lullabies on our iPhones or just play with the child. After she received the spinal, we laid her down. She fell asleep shortly thereafter, and that's extremely common. The old adage applies never wake a sleeping baby. Once the baby falls asleep, as long as they're comfortable and safe, we don't touch them, we don't mess with them, that we just let them sleep through the procedure. There's no breathing tube. We're not giving her any supplemental oxygen, so she's breathing room air just like you and I are. If she starts to get a little fussy, we will play with her. We are one of the most progressive and aggressive programs with the use of spinal anesthesia in the country. We are doing more spinal anesthetics than any other institution in the world, perhaps, on a month-to-month -month basis. One of the things that allows us to be on the cutting edge here at Nationwide Children's is that we kind of push the boundaries of what's been done in the past. We are providing spinal anesthetics for all different types of surgery, all different types of children from day of life one all the way up to kids that are uh, a few years of age. Everything went perfectly. She slept through the whole thing. We're still in the operating room and she's not on any oxygen and she doesn't require any additional medicines. Obviously, she's very comfortable. She doesn't have any tube in her throat and we don't need to remove it at the end. She just goes straight to the PACU, the recovery room, where she's ready to be reunited with mom. Now that is a comfortable baby. She'll start to regain her motor function, be able to move um, probably in the next hour or so. Hi, baby. If we had to have anything like this done again, I think it'd be the better options. From what I hear, she slept through the whole surgery and she seems pretty content now. Excited to hold her again so soon.